in this lecture i would be talking about uh, choice now you know we have gone ahead and understood what is preference we understood what is a budget line and what is utility these are the three things that we have already gone through because we already understand preferences budget line and utility our aim now becomes to maximize this utility subject to the budget constraint i have a budget in mind i already know that i get certain amount of utility from certain bundles but how do i go about and maximize my utility within this budget that i have that is known as choice so you know the principal behavioral postulate is that a decision maker is always going to choose the most preferred alternative from whatever is available to him i may get a bundle so for example within my income i have a bundle 5 comma 5 available to me 6 comma 6 available to me 5 comma 8 available to me 8 comma 4 available to me these are the available bundles to me given the list of these available bundles that i have the question is which of these available bundle should i choose and the answer is that i should be choosing that bundle which gives me the maximum utility so choose a bundle that maximizes your utility that increases your utility that gives you the maximum utility given your budget line or given your income level so the available choices all of these are available to me right all these choices that are available to me they are known as the choice set of a consumer the aim is to get the most preferred bundle from this choice set i have a list of bundles that are available to me how do i go about and get the most preferred bundle out of this choice set now let's go ahead and see what is the constraint that a consumer has the constraint of the consumer is ideally the budget line of the consumer any consumer cannot go ahead and consume on or cannot consume above the budget line so you know for example let's talk about this indifference curve what happens on this indifference curve i may get a utility which is 10 as compared to another indifference curve which may give me a utility equal to 8 so maybe this indifference curve is giving me a higher utility but this indifference curve is not touching my budget line because it is not touching my budget line this indifference curve is actually costing me more than my budget if it costs me more than my budget it becomes non affordable any point on the indifference curve all of them are non affordable to me so if they are non affordable even though they give me higher utility but i can't afford them so they are of no use to me as against that consider this indifference curve there are some points which are non affordable for example this for me to consume this point i should have a higher budget 
मे बी अ बजट लाइन लाइक दिस only this budget line is going to pass through this point so you know in that sense this point is non affordable i get that but i also understand that there is at least one point which is affordable so my aim is to kind of find what is the maximum utility point i can reach but within my budget i cannot exceed my budget that's important okay so you know we understand that this is how we had gone ahead and drawn the utility diagram remember the utility diagram in a three dimensional space was drawn like this and when i talk about three dimensional space what do i really mean i am taking my bundle on x and y axis because i am consuming two commodities good x and good y i am taking it on x and y axis and then i am taking another x axis z axis and this axis represents the utility for me and my aim is to find out for this given bundle so for example my bundle is 2 comma 2 what is the corresponding utility i get maybe it is 4 i map it to the budget now within this x1 x2 space without considering the z axis within this x1 x2 space i can go ahead and plot the budget line this budget line would be simply this equation p1 x1 plus p2 x2 is equal to m so my x1 intercept on the x axis would be m by p1 when x2 is 0 and intercept on the x2 would be m by p2 when x1 is 0 so if i take my income to be 4 prices to be 1 then my budget line intercepts would be 4 comma 4 so you know i join these two points and i get my budget line all the points on the budget line are affordable points i have to go about checking which point gives me a utility which is higher so i have to map each of these points on the budget line so i have to go about and map each of these points on the budget line with z axis and see how much utility this point gives me how much utility this point gives me this point gives me this point gives me and so on so what i go about and i do is that this is my budget set all these points are affordable these on the line they consume exactly equal to my income and below the line they consume less than my income i go about and i map each of these points to the amount of utility and i see which indifference curve they lie on so for example a point like this lies on this indifference curve then i have higher indifference curves and so on and after mapping those points after you know this is my you see this this is my x1 you just have to get uh, an intuitional idea of what we are doing so you know this is my x1 and x2 and this is my budget line and each of the point on the budget line is mapped to utility and correspondingly each utility corresponds to an indifference curve right so once you do that you find out what is the maximum utility curve you can really attain okay then so once you know you get this you have to find which is the bundle which is affordable and most preferred you may find all the bundles which are affordable you may find all the bundles that are preferred but affordable and preferred has to be found out and that would be where your utility is highest so do you see this this is the different levels of utility 
all you know this is my utility curve that i have got this utility curve is drawn for all the affordable bundles all these bundles are affordable within my income level of 4 and prices being 1 and 1 and then i find out which of these has the highest utility I'll show you this in a two-dimensional diagram also to make things better, clearer, right? Okay, so so you know, I I go about, I do this process, and finally, you get something in a two-dimensional diagram. This is important. This is what we do. So what we do is the following. We have a budget line, there are various indifference curves, each indifference curve shows a certain level of utility. There are different points on the indifference curve which are affordable. So, higher the indifference curve, higher is the utility. So, this point gives me certain level of utility, but this gives me higher, this gives me higher, this gives me higher. Now, this indifference curve is well within my affordability because you know these points lie within my budget set and there is a point on this indifference curve that is consuming my entire income.